So I got this uh, Silverado here. It's got a big lift on it, man. Doing the full detail, wax it up. Um, I've already went ahead and did the wheels real quick. Sprayed it down, rinse it down. I'm gonna go ahead and foam this thing, wash it up real quick. Um, I probably do the wax last after I wash it, do the interior. It's got leather interior in it. It's not too bad inside. Condition up this leather. Um, it's important to condition your leather, man, so you don't run into this type of stuff at all. So condition this up get it real clean for him he has to be out of here about four or five or so it's about 12 right now Dude, shout out to MJJC once again for this foam cannon, man. If y'all haven't checked them out, MJJC Foam Cannon Pro. Definitely need this for your car needs, man. Uh, put the link in the description again. I'm checking them out. Y'all definitely need this. We got them looking right, man. Polished them up. I hit them with the polisher, hit them with the wax. Some griots, three in one wax. Polished them up, man. Look at us. You know what I'm saying? Business shirt on, man. Looking good. Inside condition, mat shined up. Hit them with that conditioner. Got them right. See the leather shining. Looking good. Just arrived at this detail right here. Got to do this Toyota Corolla, man. Um, it says some daycare. But uh, this is one of those ones, man, that's pretty crazy uh, for a mobile detail. This is the type of details that y'all usually will see on those crazy videos that people do. Uh, and it takes them eight hours or so. I got to do this one in about an hour, man. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Head hair everywhere, stains. And if you guys don't know, so this is one of the worst cars to have pet hair, um, simply because the carpet is basically just damn near non-existent. So this pet hair is literally just so hard to get. You cannot vacuum that out. You have to rock it out. And I mean, it's it's everywhere. Like, look at that. It's crazy. It's all over the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and have to tackle this one, man. I might not be able to do a lot of talking on this one because I got another detail. I got to do all the way about 50 minutes away from here. Look at this, man. Crazy. I'm gonna tackle this seat kind of push my way to the front man because as i'm looking down here there's so much in the crevices and cracks and stuff like this so much pet hair so i'm gonna work my way from this seat and just kind of push my way to the front so i'm gonna start off with is a pet rock so these are little uh pet hair rocks um, you just basically take it be a lifesaver on things like this man you definitely don't need it like that man because <laughs> The amount of pet hair that's in here is just crazy. Then once I do that, I usually vacuum this up and then I'll take my big sprayer, spray it. I'm gonna hit it with a drill brush, shampoo it. So I'll give you guys a look at this side first. Then I'll show you once I get done and I'll show you that half.
All right, guys, so this is one half done. Um, shampooed the seat, put some condition on it. Look at that floor, man. Looking good over here. Got the back of this seat done. Now I gotta start pushing. I got three corners left, man. Look at the stains over here. Compared to this side, man. Like, ah, these are the headaches, man, of detailing, man. You know, all this pet hair, stuff like that is real tedious to get out. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this front corner, then I'm gonna work my way to that side. The car that was next to me, luckily they had to leave, so now I can finally open the doors and I got more space to work with so so i was working my way in the front driver's side man i decided to grab this brake cover right here and lift it up so i can clean it and i accidentally touched all of this shit right here man ah. i hope i don't catch nothing man so if y'all see me post after this uh or I look at that ew Damn, man, that's why we wear gloves, man. I forgot and I needed to buy a new set, but I'm not touching that shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, I've been sitting here in the dark with my eyes closed, staring at a ghost. I'm my lost cellophane. No, so I rise slow, bump into the Making money on my iPhone, couple hundred stacks, ayy Once again, I ain't even feeling nothing Took a couple bands and I made it into something Even though these racks keep motherfucking coming I'm running like it's nothing Cause bitch, I'm never satisfied All right, before I show you all the interior all finished up, I was going to give you a quick tip, man. These door jams, even though like this was only an interior detail, this is not a wash or anything like that. Um, always hit the door jams when you're working on the interior as well, just because of this changes the whole look of the car when they open the door and see it they're gonna see this first and then they'll see the clean car you know so go ahead and take that time hit the door jam so i'm gonna go ahead and hit these door jams and i'm gonna show you guys the reveal of the car being clean people slowly dying in the flood seems the plan is from the evil who's surviving in the mud and they looking for the needle to imply that we enough yeah uh, devil fucking with my thoughts i've been searching for the freedom like it's gone and then it's lost so so we barely breathing if we living in these laws where's the love we really need it if we want to get it gone so when it's time got that thing looking great as you guys seen i mean i did my best in between that tight spot between two cars um i'm outside in this area pulled up to the person's job got it knocked out man that's a blessing to come outside with a car like that and you come out and it's looking like new while you're at work that's crazy that's the good part of uh, being a mobile detailer, you know, stuff like that. Um, you get some crazy outcomes. And like I said, these are type of details that you see on those YouTube videos, man, that people are doing. And it's taking them seven to eight hours to do, man. And I got to get here and I just knocked this car out, I think, in about an hour, an hour and a half, maybe. You know, so just knocking it out. I'm, I know I wasn't able to go super in depth with it. But, you know, I was on the time frame. I got to get to my next detail. That one was pretty bad. It was worse than I thought. I, I always ask the customers, is there pet hair or stains in there? And uh, he said, there's a couple stains, no pet hair. What the fuck, man? Why the fuck you lying? Why? Those are the things y'all got to be prepared for as a detailer, man. You're going to show up to some stuff that you weren't expecting. Um, and somebody's gonna say, you know, lie a little bit about, you know, how dirty it is, how clean it is, stuff like that. You gotta have that skill um, to just, you know, follow, follow through and just go with it and be able to knock it out. Uh, like I said, we got that thing done. Now I gotta head to this truck in Louisville. 
All right, guys, we got my guy Jared all cleaned up. F-250 clean, wheels and tires. Said it looks better than when he got it. I was telling this the big brother of <laughs> Ranger Danger, man. We got to do the fender flares and stuff, same color as that brown, but looks good. All right, y'all, so we're in the Shelby, man. I actually ordered something from Amazon from this company, and uh, it came in the other day. I have honestly forgot that I even ordered this. It sent me like this little gift. I still gotta figure out what this is exactly, but uh, we got some carbon fiber for the interior. One of the main things I didn't understand with you know Ford's interior is there is an option to get this in uh, like gloss carbon, and then there's this option right here. As far as like this infotainment system right here around the centerpiece, I don't know why they didn't do this in like carbon fiber. Around here should have been carbon, I believe. They should have just did carbon around here. So I ordered the whole centerpiece panel um, for the centerpiece, and this is probably one of the best carbon fiber pieces that I've seen. I took it out earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and install this right here. So this is gonna go right here, take over the radio part. I don't know why. They didn't have like this carbon from factory, you like that? It's in this gift, it's pretty dope. It's got like, who packaged it? Uh, I guess the pieces that they have, which I got the control panel piece right here. And um, this is their website, but they got these cool, like they look like need for speed heat or some shit, you know? Or, like some cool photos that they add in there with you with your package that's pretty dope so it actually covers their screen on the inside as well i didn't even know all that but look like this is way better and what should have came from factory like that carbon just fits this car and then if they would have did this in carbon like come on man for who, who over there y'all should have did this in car or something you know the alcatara steering wheel is dope you know you got the digi dash you know the dct and then you just kind of left this with no no class but that that carbon actually made it look really good i ordered that on amazon i think it was like i don't even remember like 30 bucks or something but uh i think these two pieces specifically might have to go so i might just leave it just like that um, but other than that man it looks really really good all right guys maintenance time on the ranger so i had to pick up some mobile one oil um i got a brand new starter thermostat changing out all these things and we're up here at the shop, man. And there's this badass Hummer here, man. I think I've seen this at a car show before. Yeah, check this out. This thing's dope, dude. What size tires are these? 43s? On the road. All four doors open. Brom seats. This thing's dope, dude. It's huge. Yeah, that's pretty damn dope. Would y'all take this or, or a fast car? Would y'all take a badass rig like this or a fast car? Gotta turn on like three switches and shit to turn it on. <laughs> crazy to be driving on the street god damn <laughs> that thing make the ranger danger look small man damn <laughs> ranger looking good out here guys gotta keep it uh up to date keep all the maintenance and stuff done since i drive it all the time but she looking good 